first step of toy playing is find a toy that your dog really likes. So we have a few options here. Um, some dogs like the udders, that's Joker's favorite toy. Some dogs like the little rabbit fur kind of toys, that would be like a pokey favorite toy, a terrier's favorite toy. You could make your own little toys, um, especially for the smaller breeds, or these kind of little fuzzy toys um, he really likes. So you're just going to fiddle around with the toys and test, see what toy they like the best. So is it this one? Is it this one? And when you toy play, um, make sure your toy goes away from your dog, okay? Try and treat it more like a bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit doesn't jump in its face and go, look here, grab the toy, grab the toy, okay? A bunny rabbit runs around and changes direction and runs from the dog, okay? So that's more what you want to head for. So he likes that toy. Let's try and be like, this little homemade toy. All right. So then when he likes a toy, you're kind of um, going to encourage him by growling back. Yeah, you're growling. Are you growling? Okay, you're going to push him around a little, tap his side, encourage him with some words, get his scrap underneath here. Yeah, you get that toy. Um, notice I'm not jer jerking a lot like that. I see a lot of people do that, and I really think that's not good for their neck. So I just kind of more pull against them and let them decide how they want to shake it. Um, you just don't want your dog to shake it, and then you shake a different direction and really hurt them. So um, kind of just encourage them to pull against it. Um, he likes these ones a lot, too. There's a little fuzzy one here. All right, so you're just gonna figure out what toy your dog really likes. Is it this one? Do you like this one better? Uh, do you like this one better? I think you like this one. You like this one? All right, so once you find a dog, a, a toy that your dog really likes, you're going to get two of them. And that's the next step that we will play with. All right, so once you decide on what toy your dog really likes, you're gonna get two of them, two of the same type, two identical as possible. Um, this one's a little more worn, but they're different colors, but you also want them to be identical in value, so the same toy is good. Alright, this game is called Dead Toy Live Toy, and basically that's what it is. There's one um, toy that's dead at, at a time, while there's one toy alive at a time. The games that we're going to be playing here will help your dog, um, one, bring value to the toy in you, okay, you want your dog to, whatever you toss a toy to bring them back to you because they know that the toy will become more fun when you have it. You don't want those victory lap puppy, you know, that puppies do with their toys. Click! Oh, good job! Alright, so Dead Toy Live Toy is you're going to play for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one! I'm going to make it go dead as this one comes alive. Yay! Good job! Okay, I'm not going to give him a command to release the toy. I'm going to make it his decision to let go of what was fun but became boring. So after five seconds, it goes dead. This one comes alive. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yay, good job. And as soon as the dog makes the choice to go to the other one, I know. Oh, you like the yellow one better? Get that, get that. Yeah, good job. Yay, good boy. That's awesome. Ready, 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 steady, go stand alive, yay! He likes this yellow one a little bit better. Alright, so that's the downfall. You want two identical toys. Okay, dead, alive. Oh, yeah! There you go. Good boy. Good job. That's super good. So what this is training our dog is to leave the thing like the pole setter, or the squirrel, or the flower, or the leaf blowing, or whatever this toy is that is not nearly as fun as the hammer with another toy that they have to leave. Yay! So you're basically training your dog to leave what they thought was exciting and come to you to the more exciting toy. Um, so that ideally will transfer on the agility field to leave all the other things that they think might be exciting and stay with you and want to play with you because you're always the most exciting thing. Yeah, good choice. Good job. Good job. And you can end on them winning 
a toy. What a good boy. That's so Once you found two toys that the, your dog likes and you've mastered the live toy, dead toy game, you're going to play the race game. The race game is where they really start learning the retrieve, driving quickly ahead of you when you say go, and driving quickly behind back to you um, for the extra reward. Okay, so this is also where I always carry two toys with me. I always have my toy, and I always have the toy that they're going to start with. So I start the race game with a quick game of dead toy, live toy. Yeah, you get it. You get that toy. You get it. Goes dead. Yeah, good job. Good job. I know that was good. What a good puppy. Yeah. Good dog. Ready? All right, ready, Steady. First time when you toss it, you're gonna try to beat your dog to it. Ready? Pick up that toy and bring it back to you, which she kind of tends to do. Let's try it one more time. 